When I first got here, a friend was trying to tell me about this place. It's an awesome place to be. I love it here, and um, this is my family, who I love deep in my heart. So I love kids and animals and everything. I love all kinds of kids, big or small or tiny. The only thing, people got right to sleep. They ought to sleep. If I weren't here, I'd sleep on the ground or something, just to sleep, you know? Yeah, a lot of people, you know, like people. Can watch out for each other, you know? I love all kinds of people. <laughs> I love my boyfriend, I love everybody. We're all uh, God's creation, we ought to. We. God loves everybody in the whole world. I love people. My dad taught me all that when I was small, to love all of them, so I'm doing it. Last winter, we spent some time in the warming centers. We were both sleeping out on a porch, and uh, it was a good place because we were out of the weather and we were safe. And. When we were down visiting the occupied medical van about a month ago, uh, one of the ladies that was at the warming center recognized us and approached us and asked if we were still homeless, and, and Isla is. And uh, she brought her over here and introduced her, and, and we checked it out. And, and uh, this is a safe place for Isla. I cannot stay with her right now because I'm in treatment for alcohol. And I'm living in a recovery house, and I can't be here to protect her. But after meeting the people here, I found that she is protected, and, and uh, they watch out for each other. And I agree with their statement and what they're trying to do. And if we can make a difference in the way the community perceives the homeless people, it's worth the effort. And. Uh, in the interim, I know that she's all right, and that's my ultimate goal. There's always going to be homeless people, through some of them through their own fault and some not. Uh, there needs to be a community within the community that recognizes this problem and addresses it, and uh, there needs to be a communal effort in the area to address the problem and reach uh, solutions that are good for everybody in the community. I think that people are afraid of homelessness because basically a lot of them see that this could happen to them. And people are afraid of uh, the uncertainty of the times and uh, its denial. And I don't know how to address that. I think that it's something that people need to look inside themselves and be aware of and uh, address it as such. Because it could be them. I spent my career working in construction. I'm retired now, and I've made a lot of poor decisions in my life. I'm an alcoholic, and uh, because of a lot of my decisions, I put myself in this position, and I'm trying to pick myself out of it. But we need to have some way to address the problem, and uh, we need a common solution. And that's what the people here are trying to do is reach some sort of solution that uh, reaches a compromise or an understanding or some sort of solution. 
And if we hide from the problem, there is no solution. And it just the problem compounds itself. And uh, I don't believe anarchy is the answer either. It's a communal problem. I don't have the answers. <laughs>